Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. So you can buy all the pantyhose you want, but I can't even buy one stinking annuity! What about that iron lung you bought? They just cured polio, you idiot! You always fall for these scam artists! This guy says he can get me an 8% return, honey! 8%! Don't you want to retire worry-free? You know what? Fine! Buy it with this! What does she know? I can't pass up 8%. Just slow down now. Don't even think about buying an annuity until you watch this show. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money. The Worry-Free Retirement with your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist and six-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Welcome, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I'm that little man in the sweater vest, Tony Walker. And for our second week in a row, we have our brand new format here. That's right, folks. After more than 515 episodes of what we call the Walter Cronkite style of filming, uh, we're trying to experiment a little bit with more of a podcast format and also introduce more and more staff into the show and introduce more of our videos that we've done in the past that are just excellent in terms of tying in this content for savers. So nothing changes about the content. We just hope that we're going to bring you even more of it. Now, speaking of content and what's happened over the years with annuities, today we're going to focus on the increasing popularity of annuities. That's right, folks. Believe it or not, these products that have been trashed for years, some products we've used very successfully long before most people even talked about annuities, all of a sudden, as we record this show in May of 2024, They're coming in with a vengeance, and of all people selling them is the folks on Wall Street. And to help introduce this subject and talk more about why these annuities are getting so popular, come on in, my favorite son-in-law, fellow fiduciary, Mr. Trey Juergens. Good morning, Trey. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks again, and uh, I hope, are you enjoying the new format? I like it, yeah. You get to just kind of yak about all the (laughs) stuff going on in the industry. It's fun. Well, good deal. And uh, we appreciate Aaron and Derek so much. They're continually producing the show. We've had to make a lot of adjustments, but I think in the long run, uh, it's going to allow us to just kind of share with all the viewers out there the number of staff we have and the expertise we have in this area. So if you could, you know, we go back in and I hearken to the day back in 2001 when I sold the first fixed indexed annuity, uh, became pretty prevalent in selling a lot of those, took a lot of heat back in that time. But kind of tell folks what's happening now with the popularity of annuities. Well, they're exploding. That's 2023, according to LIMRA, was the absolute record year for annuity sales. And we're up 21% over the same period in Q1 of 2024. So the huge boom in sales, uh, more particularly a huge boom in independent advisors using these products. And I think we've got a nice clip coming up here, uh, one that deals with the pros and cons of annuity. You want to kind of set the stage there? Yes, yeah, so this is actually a YouTube clip pulled from a previous show. But the beauty is we get to meet with a lot of our clients. And when they say, you know, that clip on YouTube, that was really an aha moment. It's the pros and cons of annuities. And it just gets into the, the good, bad and the ugly, but also why we like these products and savers should too. All right. Well, let's let it roll, Derek. What we're going to do Because again, as I say, I've done this 35 years, folks. Here's what bothers me. One thing that bothers me, if you want to get under my dandruff, is people on radio, TV, the internet, people who think they know it all. I'll call them financial know-it-alls. So here's the key. Whenever you hear anybody, even if I slip up and do this, I call them the never say never crowd. If I tell you never to do this or never to do that or always do this, turn turn off the TV, turn off the radio. Folks, A retirement planning specialist, and I've understood this over the year, there is no one size fits all. Certain products are good for certain situations, sometimes they're not. The reason we always talk about annuities on this program is because we're working for savers. We don't work with investors and speculators. 
Most investors and speculators, quite frankly, are not that crazy about annuities, and I can understand why, because annuities are not set to grow a lot. They're not meant for that. They're meant for principal protection, and they're meant so that you won't run out of money. That's the purpose of an annuity. If you use it for anything other than that, you're probably not going to be satisfied. So let's look at the pros and the cons. Let's start with the pros, okay? By the way, Benjamin Franklin was known to do this. This is kind of fun. Just lay out sometimes if you're thinking about something. Start with the pros, that's what the things that would be helpful, and the cons, the things that may not. So the first pro we have with annuity, we've talked about this, is principal protection. The idea of going into retirement, nearing retirement, being retired, and knowing that your principal is protected, you're not gonna lose anything, to me that's a huge advantage. The second pro is whatever you make is never lost. Remember over here, we have a floor. Whatever you make, if the market goes down, you don't lose anything. That, that's a wonderful thing, folks. Pro number three, I love this one. It's a contract. I love contracts. Why would you want an investment that somebody could finagle all the time? I want a contract. I don't want it to change. Now, the problem is people say, well, annuities are complicated. They're contracts. Well, take time to read the contract. It ain't that complicated. But yeah, you can't be lazy. You've got to study these contracts so you can understand how to utilize them. Minimum amount, amount size. Folks, a lot of people think that you gotta have a half million dollars to work with Tony Walker Financial. We can open up an account for you, depending on your other assets, I have to put a caveat there, for $5,000 you can start an annuity. That's not that much money, okay? Again, there's a caveat, we'd have to talk about that, but you can open them for as low as $5,000. I like this, avoids probate. You know, many of you are going out and you're worried about living trusts and spending all this money on documents. Did you realize if you have an annuity, it avoids probate? That's because it passes by beneficiary. Great situation there to avoid probate. Tax deferred. This can have pros and cons, we'll see this in a minute, but in theory, it's great. Let's say right now you've got a CD and it's paying some interest or a bond that's taxable and you're not using the money. Well, folks, that's creating a huge opportunity cost because you're paying taxes on the same dollar over and over. With an annuity, because it's tax deferred, you defer those taxes, which saves what we call opportunity costs. Next, we have flexibility. The reason people think that annuity is tied up is because they don't understand how to make it flexible, okay? You've got to understand, you don't put 100% of your money in annuities. Annuities are a piece of the puzzle, but they're not the whole puzzle. I love this. Unless it's a variable annuities, majority of annuities we offer have no fees or very, very low fees. So we don't have to worry about that. And finally, I like the asset back protection of the insurance company the claims paying ability of that big company, uh, the state guarantee funds that offer certain limits. That's a wonderful thing. Another pro, a lot of people don't understand this. If there is anything left in the annuity, let's say you had 100,000 and you start drawing income and die in the third year, with most annuities, again, depending on how it's set up, whatever's left in the annuity immediately goes to your beneficiaries. If you, if you had your wife as a beneficiary and you forgot to change it, maybe she had passed away or he had passed away, then the children would still get it. So this idea, folks, that most annuities are gone when you die, again, it all depends. This is where we can help educate you about the proper use of annuities and what happens when you die. Finally, the cons. Folks, we're gonna get into this in another show. We've gotta talk about tax issues. Actually, annuities sometimes can create tax problems. You gotta watch that. Potentially high fees, like I said. We don't do variable annuities because we don't wanna be paying out the nose and all these fees. They can be complicated, I get it. Most people that come to us, a lot of people have already had annuities and the problem was either the person that sold them the annuity didn't understand it or there's no written game plan accompanying the annuity so the whole thing seems like a complicated mess. Again, that can usually be avoided. Low rates of return. Look folks, annuities are not meant to make you eight, nine, 10%. Occasionally they might do that. We've had them do that in the past with a fixed indexed annuity. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to protect principal, earn a reasonable rate of return, and not run out of money. Don't forget the purpose of annuity. Surrender charges, yep. That's why you better have a plan uh, that sets in motion a way to avoid these surrender charges. Most annuities have surrender charges, and if you cancel that thing at the wrong time, it can be a doozy. So again, one more reason you should be working with a trained retirement specialist that understands annuities. And now it's time for Tony in the Trenches. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here on the Worry-Free Retirement. I've got our next Tony in the Trenches right here, so let's get to it. 
This TNT comes to us from Scott in Louisville. Tony, I've recently inherited some accounts from my father's estate. His advisor was a stockbroker type, and he was with him for years. Over time, it's done quite well, but I'm not sure I've got the stomach to have all of this money in the stock market. Can I invest my money in safer territory with you and not trigger taxes on this money? Very interesting question, and with so many people now having so much money and starting to pass away, we're seeing more and more baby boomers, adult children, who are starting to receive, in some cases, very, very substantial inheritances. In fact, in 2023, we had 55 of our own clients die, and I'm in most of these meetings. I'm meeting with adult children to try to figure out, number one, what are they going to receive, and number two, and more importantly sometimes, what are the tax ramifications of the money we're about to receive. Now, in Scott's case here, let's walk over to the whiteboard because I want to make a distinction and imagine we're receiving two different types of assets so Scott will understand what's taxable, what's not, and if it is taxable, how much money is he going to have to pay in taxes on this inheritance. So in our example, and again, we're running into this more and more, folks. We have adult children constantly coming to us after their parents, our clients, are passing away. And I see things like this all the time. We're going to use round numbers so I can keep this very basic. But again, there was an inheritance received by this son from the death of his father of $600,000. And what we're going to assume of that $600,000, $300,000 was what's called, we'll abbreviate it, non-qualified. And we'll just say this was a basket of stocks that his father had owned at the time of his death worth $300,000. The father also left to the son... Whenever you see the word qualified, that means qualified for tax treatment. That's right. This was a tax-infested IRA. So remember, folks, these IRAs are wonderful. 401ks are wonderful savings tools. The problem at death, your heirs are more than likely going to have to have, pay a boatload in taxes on them. And I'll show you the advantages of leaving something as to what we call non-qualified for tax purposes at death versus qualified. All right. So there's a key term that's used called your cost basis, okay? And let's say this father, over time, had invested $100,000 in this basket of stocks. That would be his cost basis. So the father during his lifetime said, nah, I don't want these stocks anymore. I'm just going to sell them. Well, obviously, there's a gain of $200,000 there. If the father would have sold these stocks during his lifetime, he would have had to pay capital gains on $200,000 of gains, all right? Let's keep going. And let's say his cost basis of the IRA was 100000 as well. Same thing. It's a little different, though. If he had sold and liquidated the entire IRA during his lifetime, he does not get to deduct the cost basis. In other words, the full $300,000 would be fully taxable, and not at capital gains rates, which are much lower, but at ordinary income tax rates, which, again, uh, we'll, we'll do some calculations in a minute, some big numbers here. So let's go back to this. This is important because at death, it's called a step up. So since the father held on to these stocks and it was a non-qualified account, the son got the full $300,000 with no taxes. Okay, this applies to real estate and a lot of things. Huge advantage there. But what happened over here on the $300,000 IRA? There was no step up in basis. Let me grab this blue pen here. They would take the 300000 and let's say the son was making a good income right now. Maybe he's a physician or a high-paid executive somewhere. And let's say he was in a 40% tax bracket. He's going to owe the IRS $120,000 in taxes. Now, you say, well, couldn't he stretch that out? Well, you used to be able to stretch it out over your lifetime, but not anymore. If you're a non-spouse, you have to pay that out within 10 years. And this is a huge dilemma they understand when they recently changed the law to make all these beneficiaries take this money without within 10 years, all this tax revenue was going to flow in. So you might be sitting there saying right now, you might be saying, well, Tony, uh, yeah, I'm getting to this age now. I haven't thought about how things are going to be taxed when we die. You need to understand that taxation affects assets differently. This is why at Tony Walker Financial, when you meet with me, we're going to go through a full analysis of tax planning, investment planning. We're going to look at the whole ball of wax, annuities, 
look at all of that and put that into our proprietary game plan. So if that's you right now, if you don't have a game plan, if you don't feel like you've got an advisor that's doing what we call holistic planning, why don't you do this right now? Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Click on that Let's Get Started or give us a call 24-7 at 877-499-9255. Did you realize that if you have more than $250,000 in retirement assets, the government could tax as much as 40% of it when you go to take it out? And with current tax rates set to expire in 2025, the taxes you will owe on your 401k could climb even higher. Don't wait until 2025 to see how much Uncle Sam will take of your money. Get a game plan by logging on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Our client spotlight today shines brightly on Mr. Greg Ray. Greg, good uh, afternoon, and thanks for joining us today. Nice to be here, Tony. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. So what prompted you to contact us at this time? Because you've only been a client uh, what, about a year or so. So what prompted yeah, so, you to contact so us? I just happened on Sunday morning to see the Tony Walker show, <laughs> quite <laughs> frankly, Tony. Yeah. And um, um, from there, you know, about, a, I'd say a year and a half ago, we, we really could relate to your story. We, we, we bought your book, <laughs> Live Well, Die Broke, or whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> and your story and your principles and your Christian foundation and, and thoughts about and the balance of, you know, what do you, what do you need to have? What do you want to leave to your kids or what have you? Because i got a couple of boys and, then, and their families and then, you know, the rest of it, how do you want to live your life while you still can live your life, that is. So those three things align with the values and all that. We stopped in for a visit. We simply came in and <laughs> asked for a visit, and we got to sit down with you, and that was about a year and a half ago, and we're so, so glad we did. And so, and, and again, not to disparage anybody, but going from a large bank to more of a, I'd say we're more of a boutique firm, locally owned and everything, service-wise and everything, what have you experienced maybe that's a little different? Well, it, the, the biggest thing is, and probably the most surprising thing is, uh, the presentation of the suite of products that you had if we wanted to stay in the stock market and play the stock market game, which is a little bit more risky, you had the Charles Schwab products, we fine and dandy. We could continue doing what, we're, what we've been doing basically through the bank. Um, the fixed income annuity package, some of the things that you had in long-term care planning, the tax planning, the retirement planning and working, you know, making a plan and working to plan and the responsiveness of, of all of your staff is just incredible. Uh, that personal relationship, I mean, you guys, it's so responsive to what we wanted. It, it, there was no big business or a change over who your assigned investment banker was week over week or month over month as people moved in and out the branch offices and different things. So very pleased with the, with the, with the individual service. Well, we, we appreciate your business and hopefully many more years to come. So thank you, Greg, for uh, doing business with Tony Walker Financial. And Tony, best to you. We, we appreciate all you've done for us. You're Thanks. welcome. We'll be right back. So this guy thinks we should enjoy our money instead of never spending it. He calls it the live well, die broke philosophy. Is this the little man in the sweater vest on TV? Yeah, that's him. Though he goes by Tony Walker. Oh, Frank, that man only works with millionaire Rockefeller types. No, that's not true. He works with everyday, hardworking Americans just like us. So does that mean I can afford more pantyhose? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I already donated the rest to Jimmy Hoffa. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement. I am Tony Walker along with fellow fiduciary Mr. Trey Jurgens, and I hold in my hand this article just blew me away where BlackRock, a huge Wall Street firm, because their target date funds cannot guarantee lifetime income, Trey, something we've known for years, they're now creating a 401k, as it says, with a monthly check What is BlackRock all of a sudden introducing to Joe Saber? A pension. A pension. Mailbox money. Mailbox money. Annuities, whatever you want to call it, folks. This is just comical. And I love this. I've always said that the reason Wall Street will not sell annuities up until now is they haven't been able to figure out how to charge for them. You see, folks, most people who sell annuities, like us, get a commission. And Wall Street doesn't like commissions. They rather have recurring fees on your money. And now that these products have been created, in fact, look at this article. Let's put this up full screen, Aaron. It says, there are fees in the spread of the annuity 
that you cannot see. <laughs> so I think this is real interesting, Trey. So what would you share with our listening audience out there before they just rush into an annuity with maybe even somebody on Wall Street that all of a sudden is excited about them in terms of having that written game plan before buying the annuity? Yeah, well, this mailbox money is great. Without a plan, there really is no good use for these types of annuities. However, this next clip that you go to the whiteboard on, it talks about how private pensions are possible through private annuities. So this clip will tee it up. More and more companies are starting to think about going back and offering pensions, something that hasn't been done in years. In fact, IBM is no longer going to contribute to the 401k, but set up pensions for their employees. Problem is, if you're retired or nearing retirement, these don't help you. What we're going to do at Tony Walker Financial is show you how we can take existing assets and create that mailbox money so you can establish your own personal private pension plan. And here's how this would work. You basically have two options, okay? This is called an immediate annuity. And again, folks, if you want a private pension plan with mailbox money, remember, only annuities can provide this. No other asset can guarantee an income for the rest of your life or a set period of time. So you could do an immediate annuity. It's a really interesting. A gentleman just came in to see me this morning before we recorded the show. This article, he said, hey, Tony, what's this deal here where I can put $300,000 into a single premium immediate annuity? What's that all about? Well, that's what we're talking about. This would be a private pension that would be paid for your life for a period certain, or you could have a survivor option, but you cannot change this, okay? And in most cases, at death, there's zero left. So this would be an example. This particular gentleman was single. He's in his late 70s. He has a long life expectancy. He just wants principal and interest, but he wants it guaranteed for the rest of his life. He is actually a pretty good candidate for an immediate annuity. But what if you might want to change your mind down the road, or you're not sure when you want to start the income? That's called a deferred annuity. Deferred annuity. And these are relatively new. They're called income riders. Now, and a deferred annuity with an income rider is a little different. It's for you and your spouse, okay? Those are the only two parties that can receive this guaranteed income for life. Now, the advantage, you can start it whenever you want, but once you start it, you could also stop the income and whatever principal is left in there, if any, okay, could go to you. You could decide to take the principal back out stop the income payment, or you could leave it to beneficiaries at your death. So this one actually is much more flexible, but in certain cases, you may want to consider the immediate annuity. So the only way to know which annuity is going to be right for you is dealing with a trained retirement specialist such as Tony Walker Financial. Folks, I've written over 3,000 annuities totaling over $600 million over the last 20 years. I know these products very well, and the worst thing you can do is get stuck in the wrong annuity. So if you're looking to safeguard more of your money, if you're wanting to develop that personal private pension plan that we offer at Tony Walker Financial, do this. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Or simply call the toll-free number on your screen and we'd be happy to talk to you about your specific situation. Looking to roll over your 401k? Then log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and learn just how easy it is to roll over and safeguard your 401k. Do it today. When it comes to others giving us financial advice, there will always be some in the world who will do their best to lead savers astray from the truth regarding the safety and security of investments and strategies for retirement that, yes, may even include annuities. Up until recently, Wall Street was one of them, that is, until they figured out how to charge recurring fees on annuities. This idea of being led astray from the truth is not just limited to those in the financial world who attempt to lead savers away from products and strategies that might be in their best interest. Also, it is prevalent as the world constantly serves up its offerings to Christians in hopes of leading us astray from the peace and security already offered by God. But why? Why would Christians grounded in the finished work of Jesus Christ and armed with God's Holy Spirit be so vulnerable to being led astray from God and into the uncertainty of the world. The culprit, we call it vain pursuits. So what are vain pursuits and why are they such a temptation to believers? 
Well, because our flesh is easily amused and easily persuaded by false promises of a future that usually never materializes. So how do we avoid vain pursuits? Well, as we learn in Proverbs 38, it reminds us that we must pray that God would remove us from the falsehoods, trying to convince us to leave God and pursue the things of the world. Now, don't get me wrong. We can still place our faith and hope in God while still enjoying the things of the world. That's not the issue. The issue is crossing the line from enjoyment to pursuit and in the process, leaving God behind. When you know that you've been led astray is that point where you no longer cling to God. This constant battle between faith in God and vain pursuits is nothing new to God. Check it out. The struggles of King David as the world kept calling him from God, where he says in Psalm 38, 21, do not forsake me, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Pretty simple and to the point. The scary part is knowing that God will allow us to pursue whatever we wish to pursue. Notice that David begs God to never leave nor forsake him. Sound kind of familiar? Anyway, of this reminder of how much we need God and the tendency of us well-meaning Christians to easily be led astray from him, the late great writer Charles Spurgeon says this, No Christian enjoys comfort when his eyes are fixed on empty pursuits. He finds no satisfaction unless his soul is made alive in the ways of God. And therein lies the problem, folks. Our souls must have only one pursuit, and that's God. As Jesus reminds us, it is impossible to pursue both God and the things of the world. In the end, you'll end up hating one over the other, and I don't think you want to go there. So in summary, you want to enjoy the peace of God that transcends all understanding, then stay focused on Him and pray as David prayed that He would never leave nor forsake you and keep you from chasing after vain pursuits. You cling to him and his mercy, and I assure you that those vain pursuits offered by the world will look less and less appealing. And that, my friend, is some good news you and I can take to the bank. Well, how about you and your pursuit of a worry-free retirement? How's that going right now? Do you have in place a written game plan that you can follow and monitor, not just today, but all the way through retirement? Do you have an experienced retirement planning specialist in your corner who day in and day out is focused more on helping you use and enjoy this money while you still can and also here to assist you with the changes that will surely come your way in retirement? Well, my name is Tony Walker, owner of Tony Walker Financial, and I'd like to make you this free offer we call the free 10-minute fiduciary phone call, and it's designed for you and I to talk briefly by phone to see if we can be of help. So to get started and take advantage of this free phone call, just log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on that Let's Get Started, or you can call us at 877-499-9255. Well, that's all the time we have for the show today, but you remember, between now and next week, if all else fails, you be worry-free and make it a good one.